Hey everybody, welcome back, and we're here for the third and final installment of our saying goodbye to our apartment before we move videos. It's been a long day, we're both kind of tired, day. but kinda we're still tired. doing this. Yeah. But here we go, uh, one last pass through the last rooms of what is really a kind of a small apartment, but it's plenty of size for us. It's special for us. Yeah. All right. In fact, the hallway where we begin today was one of the big selling features for this place to us. We were amazed at how much space we had all through this hallway. There I goes run comfort. And still do run back and forth for exercise over and over again. Ever since the first day we moved here, that was her favorite thing to do. She yeah. Look at I can run all the way up and down. She thought it was great. It's one of her favorite forms of uh, favorite forms of exercise here in the apartment. Every time she takes a meal. She takes a run, or we play rock band. Personally, I prefer rock band, but she likes to run, and, well, I'm not going to lie, I like to watch her. She's adorable. Look at that cute. All right, all right. Enough Starting with the first room to the left here. Not much of a room, really just a closet. It's a comic room. But it's a closet full of comics. <gasps> Look, Look at, at all, all the great these comics boxes we have. full of comics. Now, you know, it's pretty cluttered in here. I'm not going to lie to you. we got the... Drum set from Rock Band with the custom wooden foot pedal made by Ruben's dad after Ruben broke our normal foot pedal, but that's it's cool because awesome. it's kind of neat to have the wooden pedal. Yeah, it works way better. Lots of comics. Lots Green of comics, Lantern yes. comics. This entire box, all of these, that is all just Green Lantern, and most of this box too, all Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of other I cool like stuff. Me some Green Can't help it. In fact, we had so many comics, there we so go. many comics, that it spilled out into the other drawers. Remember the toy drawers? Well, the other half is comics. Three big drawers full of comics. We've since realized that getting all these single floppy issues is just really yeah. horrible. We're, we're just about done with the floppy. Aside from supporting a few comics that we really like, and we know how important it is to get those sales, we like to support the people making the comics we really like. But, let's be honest here, you don't read the singles as much. You read it the first time, then it goes in the box, right, and it never right. comes out again. But trades, you'll actually read over again. I'll read a trade over again. Yeah, on but occasion. on the other hand, you keep a few singles... They have really good art because you're looking at the art and you're referencing the sure. art. And it's and terrible to do in a trade. Let us not forget All right. sentimental value. Sure. There There's is some, some sentimental that value. will be kept. Uh, we had initially intended for this to be a picture wall, as you can kind of see. And yet we never got around to finishing. We're very busy people. We very work, work oriented. A lot. We're incredibly work oriented. And uh, so we, we started. We did make a an earnest start. Here's something that uh, Comfort Sister Joy made for her. That's them when they were little with playing dress up on Halloween. This is and for those are the characters that they were dressed up Frosta on. and I don't know what her name was. I don't know. Something but I remember like my it's the many faces of the she universe. Basically, yeah. And that's something that Comfort made for me. Oh. We first dating. And there's our wedding picture. Look at how, how bad cute. A we are. We had the coolest wedding ever. We did. And this is something my sister made for me when I went away to college. It's a collage of all the pictures of little me and Amy's. And I've had that with me ever since. It's probably one of the most important things that I own. And there's a picture of Amy and my family. And there's that. And oh my over here we've got our wedding invitation. So awesome. We had the coolest wedding invitation. And this little doodad here. This awesome frame job was done by our friend Matt Smith. Matt Smith, who should have been named Matt Awesome, or perhaps Awesome Smith, or <laughs> Matt Awesome Awesmith. One or the other, but at least he's got a middle name of Brick, so. It's true, Brick is Brick pretty. Alan. Alan, yeah, Alan Brick. Anyway, moving on, bathroom. Fish. You know, this is where the peeing happens, and the showering. That's right. It's filthy and dirty all at the same time. There's really nothing to do in the bathroom. And look, bathroom. Except that Obi likes to sit there and watch me shave. And Anakin likes to sit there and drink from the faucet of the tub. That's why we call her the tub chub. Because she loves it. And that's the bedroom. And nothing happens in there. Oh, what a crime. Hello, Obi. Passing through. Yeah. 
Doors closed. Sorry, pal. Moving on, this is the study. Yay! Where the computers are. Where we spend most of our time, the second half of our two-month work schedule, when we're doing all the color for our comic. Because the color takes a long time. It does take a long time, so we spend a lot of time in these two chairs. Having our eyeballs melt out of our heads. From the friggin' computer screens. As our, uh, our friend and online, uh, I don't know, chatter... Mia has suggested these chairs, the back-to-back, -back, yes, we do a lot of high fives. Yeah. Um, over here, we've got the floor-length Danger Girl poster. I picked this up at one of the first conventions. In fact, the first convention I went to as an adult on my own, me and my friend Matt Dryer went. And this thing was hanging up on the wall, and you could see it from clear across the con, and I wanted it the whole weekend, and finally at the end broke down and bought it, because... I thought, you know what? This is going to be a good memento, and I will remember this. And I did. It's gone from hell and back. Yeah, it's really since. beat up. Really beat up. It's hard to keep one of these door posters in decent shape. And have it stay up and have the cats not scratch it. You know. Yeah. Uh, and over here we've got some few little pieces of art. Our this is a, Adam Hughes. Yes, picture. Adam Hughes Fire and Ice Next. print. That is an original page from the issue of Batman where Tim Drake becomes Robin nice. by Norm Bray Fogel. It was a gift to me from my friend Ashley Peacock, whose mother dated the artist, so, you know, that was weird. Apparently not a great experience for them, but worked out well for me. Thanks, Ashley, and thank you, Mrs. Peacock. And, um, oh, there's Obi again. There's Obi. Wanted to be on screen, and there's the pedestal that the cats like to sit on. When, yes. Do you like to sit on this, Bodie? I do. Yep. That's where they sit and watch the world go by while they're waiting for us to play with them. They'll get snuggled right up on that thing together. It's adorable. Um, comforts computer space. Scanner. Comforts the keeper of the scanner. Yep. So whenever things need to get scanned, the phone... It's usually a much larger pile, but we cleaned. Yes, we did clean. That took quite a bit of time. Uh, and over here is my computer space. Uh, notable for the printer, our majestic 11 by 17 printer. This thing revolutionized how we make comics and really saved our pants. Mm -hmm. Next to it, the Star Wars toy. Yay. Again, the few action figures we actually Only have a couple house. we've been able to put out and keep out. Sadly, Chewie oftentimes gets chewed on. Yes, that bowcaster and Leia's staff, very much Schmalbers. almost what irresistible to the kittens. Adam, uh, oh, never one. mind. Doing something cute? No, I'm not. Oh, Obi. All right, and these are our reference books. Big friggin' stack of reference books. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. This is my lightsaber. I built this while I was still in college because I am that kind of a nerd. It's kind of falling apart now, but it's been a hey, long time. Hey, it's pretty awesome. Still remember sitting back and uh, we were playing Star Wars with Ben and the gang and comfort was over, and she was making me spaghetti. I was. And I was sitting back, and our friend Ben looks at me, and he says, the man's got a lightsaber on his belt, and a beautiful woman making him dinner. Is there a better life? I say no. I replied no, and there still isn't. Uh, last things, here's my keyboard, which doesn't get nearly enough love. There it is. Top of the line nine years ago, and... <sighs> I wish I could play more. Over here, my guitars. Uh, six string acoustic, six string electric, 12 string acoustic electric. They also don't get nearly enough love. As you can I tell. I miss making music. It used to be very big, but I don't get to do it very much anymore. And then mostly just alone in the middle of the night. It's sad. Adam's got a whole lot of things that he likes to do. He does. And he doesn't get to do them nearly as much as he wants to. So there we go. That's our study. The art desk that we never use, because mm -hmm. we usually prefer sitting on comfortable couches when we draw. Um, the crummy chair. The closet, full of crap. It's really, yeah, it's just storage and junk in there. So there you go, the closet. And that's really it, I'll be honest. Yeah, not much to this room. And that's it. That's our apartment, in a nutshell. In a three-part nutshell that, frankly, is probably too long. It is too long, although you might see some of the nutshell. outside, because the outside is really what makes yeah, this apartment. We might do that, because traveling around was a big deal for us, too, taking our walks. So 
So this was our place. For the past six years, it's been our home. And we've loved it here. We we've have had loved a lot it here. of really good times here. And, yeah. But it's time to say goodbye. To see it go. We're anxious to see our new place, and we'll take some video there, too. And maybe you'll see it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Maybe you'll care. <laughs> Oh, if you've watched these things and they're too long, I say, why have you continued to watch them? Uh, it is us. It's mostly for our own sake, but we thought we'd share in case anybody gave a damn. So, there you go. Thank you for giving a damn. And even if you didn't, thanks for hanging out anyway. And uh, we'll be seeing you. We'll be around. All right. Bye.